Hi, welcome to the next installation of Old House DIY. In this episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is our doorbell, and as part of the hall restoration, I need to strip this off and give it a good going over, making it look nicer than it does now. First of all, I'll show you a few elements of the system. Outside, we start with the bell pull. That then runs through. From the bell pull outside, it then comes through the door, round this pulley, through a little chain, up this wire, to another pulley, to a joint, which then activates at the top of the bell pull, which rotates the whole rotates the whole bell assembly and causes the bell to ring. This line here also goes up to the top of the window where it goes back outside and this is where it comes back out through the door and runs across to the other hall. This assembly is mounted on a wooden plank with two big screws that I just need to disconnect the wire, disconnect the pull wire and then take it all to the workshop, get some paint stripper on it, get it cleaned up and then see what we're dealing with. I've got the bell plaque off now. Let's see whether we've got any nice original wallpaper underneath. I'm not sure. Can't tell whether they're raw plugs or wooden plugs. Oh, no, they might be wooden plugs, so let's have a look. No, horrible, dodgy polystyrene wallpaper. I found it in a few places around here. It was an attempt to try and keep heat in or add some insulation but all it does is trap moisture behind so so we've got all the bits off and we've given them a soak in peel away and i've scraped to wash that off you don't need to see that it's horrible and manky and i've got another video on using peel away but here are the bits more or less as they've come straight out of the peel away so i'll just explain some of them now you can see the bits a bit better this is the door pull with the chain that comes through the door. This goes on the return from the door, it goes round the pulley to cause to give the vertical pull. Then we've got an intermediate pulley on the wall, and then it splits off via this pulley and this bell crank to go outside down the front to the other hall, and then via the other one to this lever arm, which goes this way. And this is the actual bell mechanism. I'll just show you how this goes. First, you've got the plinth, which is actually a horrible bit of pine or something nasty. But we can tell from the foam backing that this is new. So I'm going to replace that with some oak. Then you've got the base onto which sits the spring. And that engages on the square drive. Then you've got the arm and the arm of that catches the spring so it gets pulled by the actuator there and then this the bell sits on this like so and then the wire pulls this one and it rocks Sorry, the wire pulls this and activates the bell. It's all held in place by this decorative brass nut. So, now I'm going to give all of this lot a good wire brushing and a polish, and then the black's going to get painted. Or oh, the steel. So, we've got steel spring and a steel clapper, and this spring is steel as well. So. Everything else will get shined up nicely. So off to the wire wheel. I just use I just use a wire wheel on my pedestal drill just to get the crud off. <laughs> So 
we just work through all the parts, bring them back when it's finished. All polished up. The chains have come up really nice. I think there'll be a nice detail. Next, I'm going to give this lot just a spray of WD-40 to help slow the oxidisation over time. And then I'm going to paint the black springs. I'm also going to paint the lock, which you'll see in another episode. So stay tuned. Decorating's done. Now let's get the bell back in position. As with everything else, it's not level, but it's back in the original place, so that's where it's going to go. That's the bell. Let's do our two pulleys, um, our through pull handle, and then wire it all together. Here we are, the finished article outside the bell pull. To the bell in the other hallway. Does it work? Yes it does. If you made it this far please don't forget to give the video a like and think about subscribing and thanks for watching.